I got a letter from a friend of mine in college who had left the same time I had in order to study yoga and meditation. And he told me that he'd walked into a church and heard an audible voice say, Jesus is the only way. And he was born again. Well, I, I wrote Larry back and said, that's good for you, but I, I don't think I can accept the idea that Jesus is the only way. But then I just prayed about it all day long. I said, Jesus, if this is true, if you died on the cross for the sins of humanity, and if you rose from the dead, I dedicate this day to you. And I'm not going to do anything else but read the Bible and pray to you. And if you're real, I believe you'll show me today. And that went on for hours and hours and hours, all day long. I read the Bible and prayed, read the Bible and prayed, and said, Jesus, if you're real, manifest yourself to me supernaturally. That afternoon, I was going to teach at the University of South Florida. I had to walk or hitchhike everywhere because I'd made a commitment to own no material things. And so all I had was a change or two of clothing and a few eating utensils, and that was it. Two miles away was a, a young man who had been a former yoga student who was part of a prayer group in town that was praying for me. They had read an article in the newspaper, Tampa Tribune newspaper, about how I was teaching yoga at four universities. And they knew I was a seeker of truth. And they knew I was hungry for reality. And so they began to seek God in my behalf and say, God, lead him to the cross. Lead him to true salvation. I didn't know that was going on. And when I stepped out on the road hitchhiking that day, I didn't know one of the members of that prayer group was two miles away. He was walking in a laundromat with an arm full of dirty clothes and the Holy Spirit told him to get back in his vehicle and start driving. Well, he didn't know what God wanted him to do, but he was submitted and willing to do whatever he felt, uh, this uh, compelling inner voice telling him. And so he began driving, and whenever he felt the Holy Spirit witness within him, he would turn and then drive about a half a mile and turn again and drive a quarter of a mile and turn again. God led him to the very spot where I was hitchhiking. Now the odds of that happening are absolutely phenomenal. And on top of that, he said he never picked up hitchhikers, uh, especially people that looked a little way out like I did. But he felt that compulsion again and pulled over to the side of the road. I opened the door and my heart started racing because I looked up on the ceiling of the van and there was a picture of Jesus he had taped there. And I knew this is my answer. And so I was sitting on the edge of my seat waiting for something to be said. And all of a sudden he said, uh, friend, can I ask you a question? I said, yes. He said, have you ever experienced Jesus Christ coming into your heart? I said, no, but when can I? He said, you can come to our prayer meeting tonight. I said, I don't want to wait for a prayer meeting. If I can find Jesus, I want to find him now. So he pulled the van over to the side of the road and we knelt down in the back of the van. But uh, I prayed the prayer. I said, Jesus, if you're there, if you died on the cross for me, if you rose from the dead, I'm not even sure if you're hearing me right now, but if you're there, come into my heart. And I was born again, and it was so powerful, so real, that it was a dramatic change in my life immediately. And it was so convincing that I immediately stopped everything I was doing that was contrary to the Christian worldview. I uh, went back to all my yoga classes. I told all of my students, about 300 of them, that I had found Jesus and that from that point forward, we would no longer be conducting the classes, which was quite a shock to them. Uh, for their guru to become a devotee, they would say, of the Lord Jesus Christ overnight and everything changed. That was just altogether amazing to most of my students. Most of them, however, became Christians also. I was running a yoga ashram, which is a commune where people live together and study yoga on a more intense level. And I had about a half a dozen students that were in the ashram. They. Uh, for the most part, I think about five of them became Christians also, and we shut the ashram down immediately. And I moved over to Central Florida, where I became a member of a Christian commune that worked with the poor migrant workers in Oviedo, Florida. And from there, a couple of months later, I just took off hitchhiking with a friend and started uh, sharing Jesus on college campuses all over the country.